hope you guys are doing fine. I'm now at the hospital. I couldn't vlog today. I couldn't do any video because I was very nervous and uh, I had to just take time off and just like concentrate on me and just like relax. So I'm right now in Huerter, uh, Rukusek and uh, my surgery is at 9 o'clock. At the time it's uh, 8.20 or 8.18, I don't know. But I'm already in uh, the hospital, so I'm just gonna like show you guys around how it looks like. So you see, Mama. So we I'm see later see. on. I'm right here now, and uh, yeah. But I just have to do this, and uh, my kids are here with me, and I just hope everything goes well. So I'm going to go direct to the surgery department, and uh, yeah, let's see what happens. I'm on my way in. change into this hospital dress it looks funny right yeah but I just changed into it and I'm waiting for my turn I had to be here at 8 at 9 o'clock sorry so I've been here and then I had to change this and then I have these trousers on that's my outfit then I have the stockings on as well I have my stockings on I have this small mirror I'm in the toilet right now so I'm just waiting for them to call me and I'm waiting. Yeah, this is just it. I'm here. It's funny here. This is it. I have this trouser on. Mm -hmm. And this is a toilet as well. You come in from here and this is a toilet. Very simple. Nothing special. And there I am. Waiting for my turn. I wait myself today again and I I'm at 109, like I told you guys yesterday, so, so I'm waiting for my turn, and I hope everything goes well, and I'm really praying, I'm here with my kids, but they'll be going back home, and uh, they'll be coming back tomorrow, and I hope uh, they can pass the night without me, mommy's taking care of herself, and she'll be back before they know it, and uh, yeah, so I will just go and talk to them before they go home. And I'll show you guys my room, my bed. I'm sharing the room with I'm sharing my room with somebody, so I'm just gonna show my bed and so on. So let's go. This is my bed. I'm sleeping here. That is my bed, and those are my kids. I'm sharing the room with that person right there. until they come and we even have a TV and there's a TV there <laughs> anyways I'll just continue waiting until they come and uh, yeah I will just try my best to document as much as possible and if I don't and if I don't happen to document my surgery itself then I will just like document after the surgery so you guys see and uh, yeah I'll say bye for now hey guys this is day two. I'm in pain. It is my day two. After surgery. I'm in pain. I've been eating this. I'm drinking this. And I've been drinking this as well. When I feel pain, I feel this. It's like it helps with the pain. It's not helping at all. I'm in serious pain. But I just have to go up and go. Maybe it helps me. It was a little bit better yesterday. I had not so much pain. I slept well. But uh, it was good today too because I had my shower and a change. 
This is a hospital dress. But everything was good. Then I wanted to eat my breakfast. And I just had this big pain here. It hurts like hell. Oh, it hurts. I couldn't feel me yesterday because I'm sharing a room with somebody. Though she's nice, but I don't want to disturb her. And uh, I haven't had anybody to feel me, so I couldn't feel anything. Though it's not, uh, they don't stop you from feeling, but I just wanted to be fine. I'm doing better, but just see what is happening. I have my cluster still on. Okay. Go back to my room and uh, just to lie down a little bit and just rest. Just I'm really in pain and uh, to try to eat my fruitless as well. A breakfast as well. So I'll talk to you guys later. I'm still here waiting to be discharged. I don't know when, but I'm very, it hurts so much in the stomach. And I've been doing well, like I said, I've been consuming, drinking a lot of liquid, just trying to go up and go. But it's not easy. It hurts. I was told it's gonna hurt today, but tomorrow is gonna be better. So I hope it, I get better tomorrow. Apart from that, it hurts like hell. Just here in the stomach, here, somewhere here, somewhere up here. It hurts so much. But I just hope it gets better tomorrow. I don't know what time I'm going home, but I have to go home today. And um, that just depends on how much I I drink or how much I eat. Not really eat, but I have to eat my soup today. So I'll see what happens. I'm trying to be very, very, very positive. And just force myself to consume as much as possible. It's not easy. You know, a part of your stomach has been uh, like reduced, so it's not easy to eat so much. Just a little bit. It's, I'm really full. So let's see what happens. I'm really pain right now. But uh, with that, this hurts like hell. I've never had something like, I've never been in so much pain. Like, I've never had a surgery before. And that's why I feel like shit. So I hope everything goes well with me and I hope I get home today because sleeping here was not fun. Yeah, no, I slept in the hospital before with my kids and now and uh, yeah, it's not, it's never fun sleeping in the hospital, but I feel a little bit relaxed because I'm not with the kids and I'm not at home, but I have to go home because I miss them anyways. I miss them so much. I just want to be there because I think I'm, I feel more relaxed and secure when I'm with them and uh, yeah, that's just what I want now. And I'm doing my best to be very, very strong and do everything they tell me to do. So I can get back home to my kids and just like the doctor was here today and he said tomorrow is going to be another feeling. We'll feel not the same. Like we have pain. Yesterday was very, very good day one. I couldn't feel yesterday because I was just like, you know, I came up when I woke up. When I woke up, I was not really feeling myself and I had something on my nose that was very, very uncomfortable. So I came, I was just in the recovery room for just a few minutes because I couldn't stand it. It was so hot and it hurt. It was, it was not really, it was not really painful, but it was so uncomfortable. So I asked them to bring me up here to my room and they did that. So I felt a little bit better when I came back and uh, just drank a lot of water yesterday. Just water, water, water yesterday and my medicine and then today I had to eat. Like I have my plant, my food plant here. Like uh, I have all of this with me. That's to write down how much I'm drinking. You see? And then to and this is how I'm eating. It's in Swedish so maybe you guys don't really understand it but 
I have to eat like that. Let's see, water list and uh, food order. Breakfast, I have to take one deciliter. Melamol, like after food, I have to, like, that's just it. It's in Swedish, so it's in people cannot really understand it. Though. But, anyways, I'm just trying to, like, be strong and uh, I'll talk to you guys later on. Just wanted to tell you guys what has been happening. <laughs>
I hope everything goes well and I think everything is going to be okay. And I feel like I'm losing something, but I don't know so much. I don't know how much, but I'm, I'm doing fine. I'm doing okay. This is my third day and uh, I'm uh, still in pain, but I'm, uh, I'm okay. So I'll just go ahead and make breakfast for my kids. Stay tuned. I have two cups of chocolate, so I'm going to warm them up. I'm going to do this for them today. They love this. They love, love this so much. They love this so much. And I bought this some Netto. I just go ahead and make breakfast to them then I get back to you guys shortly I have to prepare my medicine and I try to eat something I'm not really hungry but I have to eat and I have to take my medicine so and uh, I have to take about uh, 20 minutes to eat my breakfast or more because I have to eat very very gently and very slow and try to yeah take it very easy and with my medicine I have to take about 20 minutes just to drink my medicine and I have to divide them in very little pieces so I don't get, I don't stop, they don't stop on my, like, I have a very little stomach now. So I have to take it very easy and try to be used to it anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and prepare my medicine and then I get back to you guys. But I had a problem yesterday. When I came back from the hospital, I missed this. I forgot to take my injection and uh, yeah, I called the hospital today and they told me, yeah, I will take it today anyways. It's not good that I forgot it, but uh, I'll try not to forget it again because I can have uh, blood uh, clot in my system and so on. So I really have to remember this. This is very, very important after surgery. So I forgot that and it's not good. I just finished making my breakfast and this is all I have to eat for breakfast. Just this. And yeah. I will just go to my sitting room and try to eat something and try to take my medicine and uh, I'm so dark <laughs> I know you guys can't even see me but I'm going into my living room just to sit here and eat yeah yeah this is my favorite place at the moment I sit here and my legs are here I just think it's very very comfortable then I have this on me so I should be warm and so on. Yeah. I'll just go ahead and sit down. Yeah. It hurts a lot sitting down, but it's okay. I just try to that's how I sit. Sorry, I did my laundry there. I haven't been able to clean it. I just came back yesterday, so everything is just there and so on. So I'm just sitting here trying to eat my breakfast. I'm just trying to take things easy, but I hope I get better soon so I can clean my house and just do things around me. I just feel so I feel so useless but everything will be fine very soon and I hope I get back on my feet and just be a mom and do the right things. I'm still in pain but I hope everything goes better during the day. So let's see what happens. I will just try to eat my breakfast and uh, I try to to take a shower then i go to the bank then i try to buy the uh, the rest the other medicine because i really need them very much so guys i'll just eat and then i get back to you guys later on bye for now bye <music>